All right, checking in with meteorologist Kyle Roberts. Kyle, I heard you say something about some some fall weather coming. At least our a way. little bit closer. Just a little okay. It's a, little a little bit closer, closer guys. To fall. Uh, you know, it's not going to be these just cool, crisp days where it's, you know, nice and it's the uh, jeans and long sleeve t-shirt all day long or something like that. But it, it's going to be back to, you know, the comfy mornings, cool, okay. comfy mornings, and then warm afternoons, but with low humidity. So it it's really is going to feel nice the upcoming week. I'll take that. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really nice. It just may not be like sweater complete weather. fall and, and sweater weather just yet. Uh, but Go remember, figure. we aren't technically even in October yet. So. You're right. We'll get there, but the opening day of the fair, actually, the weather for that looks really, really nice. In the meantime, the tropics, after being very, very quiet in July and August, have finally awoken from their slumber, and we now have four named storms out there at the moment. We have uh, Hermine, which is off the coast of Africa. We have Gaston, which is a tropical storm, just kind of out there in the Atlantic. We have Fiona, which made landfall in Canada as a uh, po strong post-tropical storm. And then we have Ian, which is down in the Caribbean. We'll get back to Ian in a second. That one could threaten the U.S. as we head into next week. In the meantime, let's talk about Fiona spinning up here uh, in far southeastern Canada at the moment. Still has wind speeds of 85 miles an hour, but it's technically not a hurricane anymore. It's what they call a post-tropical cyclone, but it's one of the strongest uh, systems to ever make landfall in Canada. There's still hurricane warnings and tropical storm warnings for that part of Canada, parts of Nova Scotia and Newfoundland because of that storm. Now I know technically it's not a hurricane, but it is exerting hurricane type conditions for uh, that part of uh, Canada. What we need to be concerned with, at least not necessarily here in North Texas, but at least the U.S., is Tropical Storm Ian. So Ian formed last night. It is wind speeds of 45 miles an hour, gusting to 60 right now. It's south of Jamaica by about 300 miles. We already have Tropical Storm watches for Jamaica, hurricane watches for the Cayman Islands because that storm likely going to intensify as it moves up to the north here, making a brush close to the Cayman Islands. You can see it going from a tropical storm to a hurricane to even more intense hurricane as it kind of moves up into the northwestern Caribbean. Then it'll emerge into the Gulf of Mexico sometime toward the middle part of this upcoming week, potentially making a landfall somewhere along Florida. Now remember the cone here is where the center of the storm could make landfall. So the center of the storm, potentially anywhere from Key West to Miami, all the way to the Florida Panhandle there. There will be adjustments with the track, so we'll keep an eye on it here, but potentially as a very strong, if not major hurricane, sometime toward the end of this upcoming week, so we'll keep an eye on that very closely. It looks like it will not influence our weather here at all, but parts of the U.S. could definitely be dealing with a major hurricane uh, later on next week. In the meantime, it's 80 degrees outside at the moment. Later on today, we'll be about 97 and 98 across Dallas to Fort Worth, 90s area-wide. The record today is 99. So we'll be very close to that later on this afternoon. Tomorrow, it's pretty much the same. Highs will be in the 90s once again, but this front, that's the front that will finally cool us off as we head into the upcoming week. You really won't notice the cool down tomorrow with those highs well in the 90s. A kind of front wind shift will happen during the day tomorrow. Maybe a pop-up shower storm with that front, but as you can see, it's not much at all. My coverage tomorrow, it's 10% across the area, so don't cancel any outdoor plans if you haven't. I mean, keep an eye on the sky that there could be one of those pop-up showers and storms out there tomorrow afternoon. Here's what happens as we head into the upcoming week. Go from 97 on Sunday to 88 on Monday, 89 Tuesday, 87 Wednesday. So you can see it's still plenty warm out there, but the humidity will be very low. That It'll be a comfortable warm as we head through the afternoon hours in the upcoming week. And your morning lows will be, those will be comfy and cool. Your morning temperatures in the low 60s starting Tuesday, lasting probably even into next weekend, which is the first day of October and obviously the first weekend of October. And your fair forecast for Friday and the opening weekend of the fair, it'll be warm, don't get me wrong, but with that low humidity, actually be very nice if you are going to head to the fair for that opening day or potentially for the opening weekend next weekend.